everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so in today's video i am going to talk to you about a topic which i'm pretty sure you all are aware about is the new visa changes that have been introduced by the australian government on the 16th of november 2019 so what i'm going to do in today's video is that i'm going to talk about the main changes and how it's going to impact all of us and by end of this video i am also going to tell you guys how a lot of international students are going to benefit out of all these changes so if you don't want to miss out on any of this information watch this video until the end so without wasting much time let's get started let's talk about the 491 visa which is the new visa which is going to be replacing the four old 489 so this is completely based on the skill set program or call it the point system and this one you are required to have a nomination which is a state sponsored nomination otherwise a family member who lives in a regional area can also a sponsor you and the next one is the 494 a skilled employer visa which is the new visa which has replaced the old one which is the 187 subclass jisko rsms bhi bolte hain to i'm pretty sure rsms ke bare mein to bahut logon ko pata hoga ki jisme an employer or a business owner will sponsor the employee so it's pretty much the same it's just that the name has changed so let's talk about the advantages of what these new visa are going to bring so a uh, first advantage is that you will get five years of stay in Australia on both these visa which I think is a good thing because what happens is it will give you an opportunity or give you a buffer time call it ki aap is time pe work kar sakte ho on increasing your points to uh, you know achieve your number for the final goal which is applying for a permanent residency so I think that happens when you have that extra five years to live in this country and apart from that the biggest advantage also is that uh, you will be getting all the Medicare benefits which were not before so isme, from the day you are on this visa you can enjoy all the Medicare benefits another advantage is that go there's going to be priority processing for both these visas so the turnaround time will be really less when you compare it to other visas another point as well that all the family members need to live work and study in these regional areas for a minimum of three years to be eligible to apply for a permanent residency. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the requirements for both these visas. So for the 491 visa, the requirements are pretty similar to what it used to be. So there's not many changes. So the applicant needs to be under the age of 45, uh, which is still same. And the best thing that has not changed is that for the points system, the passing mark is still 65, which has not increased, which I guess it's a great news. Apart from that, EOI is required, which is pretty obvious. Expression of interest, which is pretty obvious, which is pretty obvious. Or jo sponsorship hoti hai, state sponsorship is required or sponsorship from a family member who lives in a regional area is also required, which I mentioned kiya tha. Last but not the least, you also need to have a skill assessment done by the required regulatory authority for that particular occupation. Now let's talk about the requirements for the 494 Employer Sponsored Visa which was before RSMS So this requirements have change in this requirement pretty much similar So this one thing is that you need a full-time work experience in the designated occupation that you're going to be applying for So keep in mind that is something that is really important Apart from that, English test will be required There's no point system because this is all employer sponsor hota hai. the business owner that is going to sponsor you should also be approved or he should have all the rights to nominate or sponsor an employee so wo business owner ke paas wo sare rights bhi honi chahiye agar wo kisi ko sponsor karega there is a new permanent residency visa that has been introduced which is the 191 regional permanent residency which will be introduced in the year 2022 on 16th of november which is almost like three years away from now so this qualification you have to uh, you know work in a regional area for three years or pay that has to be 53,900 for the three financial years so this is something which is really important and you should start probably working on this from now itself if you want to be qualified for this permanent residency or also you can uh, you know move around regional areas there's no restriction ki agar aap ek regional area mein to aap pe reh sakte ho. Aisa nahi hai. regional area throughout jo bhi Sydney mein hai, aap sara Sydney 
बोल रही हूँ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में है आप वहां पे ट्रेवल कर सकते हो सो दर नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन एज टू विच सिटी यू आर इन As long as it's a regional area. Now let's talk about the point system changes. And the this point system changes is applicable only for the 491 visa, जो कि skill set uh, visa है. 494 के लिए ये सब valid नहीं है क्योंकि उसमें point system नहीं होते. So let's talk about the state regional sponsorship. For this one, you are going to get 15 points. Earlier it used to be 10 points, but इसमें अभी extra five points बढ़ा दिए गए हैं, जो कि एक अच्छी बात है. अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अगर आपने मास्टर्स डिग्री या तो डॉक्टरेट या तो पीएचडी कोई भी ऑस्ट्रेलियन यूनिवर्सिटी से की है फ्रॉम अ रीजनल एरिया एंड आल्सो इट्स शुड बी अ टू ईयर फुल टाइम कोर्स यू विल गेट टेन पॉइंट्स फॉर दिस वन एंड इज अ वेरी बिग चेंज दैट इज हैपन नाउ विच इज द चेंज इन द स्किल पार्टनर पॉइंट विच आई गेस इज वर्किंग इन फेवर ऑफ ऑल ऑफ आस तो इसमें भी बहुत कंफ्यूजन था कि बहुत लोग बोल रहे थे कि मैक्सिमम पॉइंट्स जो आप क्लेम कर सकते हो फिफ्टीन है या टेन है देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन सो Uh, let me break down everything for you, and I guess it is going to clear your confusion. So maximum points you are claim कर सकते हो for a skilled partner is ten, and it's not fifteen. Because how it works uh, is, पहले ऐसा होता था कि अगर आप PR मतलब apply करने वाले हो, and if your partner is falls under the skill list, you will get five points for that, right? But now what they have done is you have an advantage of adding another five points if your skilled partner is also demonstrating competent English. So they have to go to uh, that English test, and yes, if they can uh, be a competent English speaker, you're going to get an extra five points for that. So in total, you'll get ten points. So I think this is a very good advantage. And one thing that is also a very big advantage is that if your partner is skilled. लिस्ट में नहीं है ठीक है उनकी एजुकेशन स्किल मिस लिस्ट में नहीं है लेकिन वो कंपीटेंट इंग्लिश डेमोन्स्ट्रेट कर सकते हैं अगर उन्होंने टेस्ट दिया और वो कंपीटेंट इंग्लिश स्पीकर हैं तो उसके भी आपको पांच पॉइंट मिलेंगे ठीक है तो पहले ऐसा होता था कि अगर आपका पार्टनर स्किल लिस्ट में नहीं है तो आपके को कोई पॉइंट नहीं मिलते बट नाउ देर इज देर इज अ चांस दैट योर पार्टनर ऑल्सो कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इन एडिंग सम पॉइंट फॉर यू सो इफ दे कैन वर्क अ लिटिल बिट हार्ड एंड गेट दिस इंग्लिश टेस्ट में कंपीटेंट इंग्लिश अगर वो ला सकते हैं तो एक्स्ट्रा फाइव पॉइंट आपको मिलेंगे जो कि मुझे लगता है कि बहुत ही अच्छी बात है और बड़ा एडवांटेज भी है और एक बहुत ही बड़ा चेंज है जो कि बहुत लोग को मैं जानती हूँ जो हमेशा रोते रहते हैं कि वो सिंगल है उनके पास कोई बॉयफ्रेंड नहीं है या गर्लफ्रेंड नहीं है तो ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट ने आप सबकी सुन ली है तो आपका जो रोना धोना है वो सब रंग लाया है क्योंकि वॉट ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट हेज डिसाइडेड इज दैट फॉर सिंगल एप्लीकेंस इफ यू आर सिंगल यू कैन गेट टेन पॉइंट एक्स्ट्रा विच इज ग्रेट न्यूज राइट सो यस सो सिंगल राइट अवे टेन पॉइंट क्या सही चीज है यार okay, जब से मैंने वीडियो स्टार्ट किया है मैं मैंशन करी जा रही हूँ रीजनल एरिया सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट रीजनल एरियाज आर एंड वॉट नॉट सो सिडनी Melbourne and Brisbane. So anything apart from these three cities are going to be considered as regional, which I guess is great. और मैं आपको ये भी बता रही थी कि मैं बताऊंगी वीडियो के एंड पे कि how a lot of international students are going to get benefited out of this, right? So there are many students who are studying in these regional areas, जो कि अब which has become regional right now, correct? So what these students are going to get benefit is that you are going to get straight away one year extra because you see once you complete your graduate visa, you can apply for a temporary visa, right? So for people who live in non-regional areas like Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, apply for a temporary visa and they get only for two years. Whereas if you are going to live in a non-regional area, you are going to get a temporary visa for another three years with full working rights, of course. So I guess that's a great advantage. Straight away you get one year extra. Right, and in that one year extra, you can start applying for the, uh, you know, working on increasing your points for your PR. So that's one good thing. Apart from that, if you are already in like areas like say, just go regional centers, बोलते हैं जो कि है Gold Coast और Perth. इन दोनों cities को उन्होंने regional centers declare कर दिया है. तो अगर कोई student है जो यहाँ पर है, तो उनको straight away five extra points मिलते हैं जब आप अपना skill assessment apply करते हो. So that's some great advantage as well. So that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do share it with your friends. And if you liked it, please let me know in the comment section below. अगर आपकी कोई help हुई है, that will give me motivation to make more videos. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you again very soon with another video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe as well. Have a good day. Bye bye.